So I'm watching Fear City on Netflix. Um, awesome so far. First episode, really great. You know, the mafia, man, they ran, they ran the whole country, man. It was really no joke. They controlled the labor unions, you know, they, you know, pretty much you control the unions and not just the labor unions, every union, you know, you got, you got hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars in the bank with the Teamsters. They snap their fingers. There could be a strike. Millions of people will stop working. I mean, the mafia had power, man. I mean, they really, it wasn't just like, see people when they think of the mafia, they think of like, you know, a boss who says, you know, this guy, he's got to go. That's it. They put the order out. You understand? And that's it. They take the guy out. But there was so much more that went on. I mean, on levels that can't even be com comprehended. That That's why the government couldn't really take them down. They, they owned and controlled everything. They controlled everything from construction in New York to, to decisions that were being made with with unions, with the truck truck, with the with the Teamsters, hundreds of billions of dollars in in the bank, you know they controlled everything. <laughs> so it wasn't as simple as just you know is this guy gonna you know take this guy out? There was a lot more, and I don't think the government really understood that. You know what I mean? And that's why they were going after. It shows you like you know small time people like that were soldiers. They weren't able to get to the bosses. They couldn't connect anything to the bosses. They couldn't connect anything to the big action. And then they came up with the famous Rico. Okay. And that's ultimately was their weapon. But the fight, the funny, the funny thing is even Gotti beat that. Gotti beat, you know, she had the Jackaloni. Remember Jackaloni? She tried to take Gotti down with the Rico, but she couldn't. So that's why they called him the Teflon Don, you know? He was untouchable. But Eventually, we all know what happened with Sammy Gravano, and uh, that was it. You know what I mean? It, it was uh, the end of an era of just complete dominance by the Mafia. Um, the Mafia is probably still around. They, they're, they're still out there. You know, I, I, you know, it's just that now it's not as, I don't know, it's a little different. You got technology, you got... You got too many things that, that back in those days didn't exist. So it's different. But once in a blue moon, once in a while, we're reminded that the mafia exists. You know, I don't want to bring up a very good friend of mine that I knew in Brooklyn. May he rest his peace, rest in peace. But, you know, it was, it was it's just a very tough thing to talk about because my father was very good friends with him. I was good friends with him. But you hear about Spamoni Gardens in Brooklyn one of the owners was shot, okay, and Lou, he's a good friend of mine, good friend of my father's, and this was right in front of his house in Dyker Heights, and he had money on him, I think he had a, a bag, he had like $11,000 in cash, the, the guy didn't even take the money, some people speculate it was, it was, you know, listen, I don't want to talk because let's just say it's alleged, we'll say it's alleged, had something to do with the sauce, uh, some person opened up a restaurant, let's just say in Staten Island, and was using the same sauce on the pizza. You understand the square pizza that they were using in L and B, and it was like, and it was again. This is what I'm trying to say. There's things still to this day that go on that we don't know about, but the mafia still exists. And this guy was 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 shot to death. I mean, they got the guy apparently. You know, who shot him. And, you know, I was just in LMB recently. I was talking to uh, his brother. And I was just telling him, you know, God bless Lou. You know, he was a very good friend of my father. He was a very good friend of mine. And, you know, he's he's going to be missed. You know, he was a great man. He was really good. A very good-hearted, kind man. And I'm, I don't know. Listen, nobody knows, you know, the reason why this man was shot. But I can tell you this. You see, it reminds you. It reminds you, you see, you think the mafia is dead, the mafia is gone, but then you hear about things like this, that people are being shot right in front of their house, and you're like, and this happened a few years ago, this wasn't like, you know, we're not talking 20, 30, 40 years ago, I mean, what, what are we talking about, maybe three, four years ago or something, the mafia is still out there, it still exists, it's just a little on the DL now, it's quiet, it's quiet, it, it's not as, you know, profound, as big as it was, but it still exists. Video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. 
I'm an entertainer. This video is for entertainment purposes only.